Well, Republicans in the state legislature are moving to eliminate parts of state law calling for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Members of the House and Senate are rewriting the state's energy laws, and they want to eliminate references to lowering greenhouse gas emissions, and they want to impose a ban on offshore wind turbines. In the Senate, the effort is being led by Republican Senator Jay Collins of Tampa, who says he wants to ensure the stability of the electric grid and protect wildlife and ecosystems. The rewrite would also make it easier to build some natural gas pipelines. So, Alan, is this a step forward or a step backward? Do you believe when Senator Collins says he's doing this because he's a concerned environmentalist, essentially, do you believe that that's the reason he's taking these steps? So let's get this straight. Uh, instead of working on lowering property insurance rates, which are killing a lot of Florida families right now, uh, Jay Collins is tilting at windmills and saying uh, that the problem will be solved if we just don't use the language of greenhouse gases in, in state laws. I, I think uh, Senator Collins is playing his voters who are, are, are dealing with these uh, insurance premiums r right now. Uh, and uh, no, I don't think he's an environmentalist. I think that it's really kind of uh, obvious right now uh, that whoever side he is on, it is not on, he's not on the side of his own constituents. Should Florida have a policy about greenhouse gases or is that beyond what Florida should have? I, I think you have to realize what are the top uh, industries in Florida? It is tourism and agriculture, both of which are in jeopardy because of, of what we're dealing with in terms of, of, uh, of climate change. Uh, so it is in the state's best interest, not just because it is the right thing to do, because it's in our economic interest to do something about it. Mm -hmm. Gene, what do you think of this? Uh, do you think that uh, when Senator Collins says, look, I'm trying to protect the birds and I'm, uh, I'm concerned about you know, what the wind turbines might do offshore, um, and, and you know, he says, we ought to make it easier for natural gas pipelines to be built. What, what do you make of that? Well, I, I think he's uh, probably closer to Don Quixote uh, fighting windmills than uh, than someone who's actually against it. I, I think um, you know, if he's looking for a level playing field for electric companies, uh, I mean, that's you know, this is something you would see on The Simpsons with uh, you know Mr. Burns trying to figure out what's the most evil thing I can do. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's I don't think he's being genuine in it, um, and there's no science backing that uh, that whales are being. Uh, killed or, or 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 you know really environmental damage other than you know birds hitting him which uh, you know planes do the same thing with birds so uh, I don't I don't see any honesty in, in his statements. Mike, you were up there in Tallahassee for all those years. Uh, how powerful? <laughs> how, how powerful are the uh, the energy companies uh, when it comes to influencing? how the legislature votes. Well, they, not, they are extremely powerful. Again, money talks, and just follow the dollar, as we always say, and you'll see the amount of money that's contributed by the energy companies to the Republicans, Democrats, candidates, their PACs, um, pretty much uh, whatever they need, they get in Tallahassee. Uh, you saw in the past they've tried to stop good amendments to the Constitution or pass bad amendments to the state Constitution. Thankfully, they weren't successful, but they pretty much get what they want in Tallahassee. Okay.